So this is now the AT&T performance. As you can see, still in the middle of nowhere, traveling, nothing but cactus, desert, and tumbleweeds. So the AT&T performance is quite interesting. So they do have a higher ping time. You guys have noticed that in the El Paso testing. You guys will also notice that in this testing. This is all LTE, 100% straight LTE. There's hardly any 5G going in that direction. But as you can see, 30 megabits, 10 on the uplink. So it, it's not that much different from what you're going to see on the T-Mobile testing. Yes, T-Mobile is all 5G. They do have spurts of where they reach 100 megabits per second. It's not consistently. It's also an up and down as, as you move between the site spacing because the sites are not spaced that close because the stretch is you know, quite stretched out and it just doesn't from a financial perspective it doesn't make sense for the carriers to build a site every mile so there might be some carriers that have better site spacing there might be more sites for verizon could be could be quite possible but as you can see the at&t speeds on just the lte network are okay for the most part uh day-to-day -day tasks uh, maybe struggle a bit on uplink but that's normal because of the site spacing. And as you move between sites, the uplink does get better. But in this case, we're, we're moving towards the cell edge. So you will actually see performance get a bit worse. So as you can see the first few tests, at and ma maintained around that 30 megabit per second. Um, that does get lower as we move through this testing. As you can see here, uplink picks up a bit. But for this performance, you can upload, you know, your standard video pictures just fine. Um, you can do your texting, your calling. So the from that from that aspect, right? The the average consumer, this will work fine. I did video playback, worked no problem. I did uh, I did some texting back and forth. It 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 gets the job done. That's 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 all that means. And as I said in the summary video, less cutouts than T-Mobile. So overall, this, this was the better connection. So as you can see, their speeds are dropping. This is a 14 megabit per second test. Again, that's still fine for HD, any, any video playback. Music playback, playback I did as well on, on YouTube Music worked just fine. And then it starts struggling a bit here. As you can see, the ping time spiked. Uh, speeds are still there. So you can still get your, your regular stuff done. Notifications should still come in at those speeds. It might lag a bit behind because of the, the higher ping times. But again, like I said, the 5G and the LTE, you know, is hardly any difference. The same stuff is happening. Yes, T-Mobile did peak at a higher speed. But later on in, in, in the testing that I did behind the scenes, AT&T also can get 70, 80, 90 megabits on LTE so not that big of a difference it's just the area and you know are you closer to the site further from the site all of that plays a factor but I'll leave you guys with the rest of this video as you can see for the most part AT&T maintained a decent performing experience and it allowed for most day-to-day -day things except the uplink struggled a bit there but that's because of site spacing so let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.